to my channel guys uh this is gonna be a pretty short video about portfolio strategy or portfolio construction um and what i'm gonna go over roughly speaking is the high risk category the medium risk and the low risk categories for crypto now keep in mind crypto is um something i consider to be all high risk um but you know as actually i would actually modify that saying uh, crypto is less risky than it was in the past in fact, you know, obviously I keep most of my net worth in crypto, so I view it as not being as high risk as, um, you know, people would consider it. Uh, but it does have the potential to collapse, you know. Um, but to me, crypto is like, I, I just can't see a good future unless it's a future where crypto is running finance. And so, you know, I put my money where my mouth is, you know, um, and, you know, where my mind is. Um, okay, so, but what this the idea here is, is, depending on how much money you have if you have less than 30,000 uh if you have between 30,000 and 200,000 and if you have um above 200,000 this is the way i would think of you know constructing um portfolios obviously you know you the number one thing in my opinion is that you find your own strategy what works for you as an individual um and you know i'm just putting like every, nothing here is investment advice. Um, I'm, this is just how I've done things, and um, you know I've been pretty successful, and I'm honing in on getting more and more successful um, by modifying my strategy and continually getting better at my particular strategy. But it is good that you would look for your own strategy. But this is if if I was to have only thirty thousand, or if I was between thirty thousand and or above two hundred thousand, this is the way I would be thinking about things with what I know right now. So let's go ahead and go into the low risk. So this is if um, if you have greater than two hundred thousand, and you know, uh, portfolio would look like this. So you would have strong convictions that the projects will be around in five years. Like these are projects that are well researched and um, that you have a strong conviction about, and um, you know. I, I, you know, depending on your strategy, you know, but this is my strategy. So, you know, everything here is just my particular strategy, right? So the strongest convictions um, that they'll be around in five years, that they are going to capture this huge transfer of wealth. You know, that would be the polka dot and the Celsius, uh, Ethereum and Luxo. Now, one thing you are going to note is I have Celsius should be in the top of every single portfolio, no matter what. And one of the reasons why is you can use the Celsius app to take advantage of Celsius services, so you're going to end up owning the Celsius token regardless. Um, you know, in the in these strategies. Um, that being said, um, Polkadot, Celsius, Ethereum, and Luxo. You know, uh, I think Ethereum ha is going to stick around for five years because it already has a, a, a large share of shoulder, um, of DeFi. Polkadot's probably going to take most of the lion's share of DeFi in the future, but Ethereum will still stick around in their port together and communicate. And Ethereum is great for prototyping, etc. So um, I do expect it to be around in five years, as well as Celsius, as well as Polkadot, and as well as and, and you know you'll notice that Luxo's like the one that's like uh, the lowest on the um, Coin Gecko list or the, you know the market cap list. I don't care. I think there's a lot of money to be made here, um, and that's because people don't understand the potential of it yet. So yeah, the strongest convictions that the project will be around in five years. Now, obviously, I think Kusama will be around in five years as well, but it's going to be Polkadot that's going to have the, the lion's share. But Kusama is probably going to be its twin, and it's going to—it still, I believe, has a lot of room for growth. Um, you know, and so I think it will catch up to you know Polkadot in my portfolio. Um, but Algorand and Kusama are expanding rapidly. They're big market you know, projects, they're live, they use cases and they, you know, have niches and et cetera. They're established. And you can, and you can notice these portfolio, the, the way this portfolio is constructed is 80, 20 rule, right? The Pareto principle, 80% is in the stuff that I think is the most secure and 20% is in the higher risk stuff. And even these, you could even say 90% of the, of, of the low risk portfolio is convictions, you know, cause I, I actually think these are more on the solid end. But this is for people who are, you know, higher net worth, right? And then obviously the wild guys, the wild children, the ones who, who knows if they have a future like EOS, you know, like, um, or, you know, up firing. But these things could definitely go wild, right? So you just hold a little piece of them and you never sell, right? Um, unless it like you get an instantaneous win. Sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'll buy something. And if it's like a 5X in a month, I'm like, all right, I'll just take the win um, and I'll walk away. Um, and I actually have some UMX in here too somewhere because um, I actually re bought it back. 
Um, but, but yeah, like sometimes it's, it's, if you make a quick swing, you know, might as well take profits and, and look, keep hunting. And I'm always on the, the hunt. Obviously I could, I could find a, you know, I might find something for this category, right? Like, um, you know, like it, it, there's a lot of projects out there, you know, and I'm constantly looking, like it takes a long time to do this research, right? To, 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 to really know if something's strong or not, it takes a long time. So I could find something, you know, in, in her places. So if you have something that I don't have here, you know, and you're convicted, just, you know, think about the broad, like think about what I'm saying categorically, right? So strong convictions that the project will be around for five years. Project is expanding rapidly, big market live and use case and niches and things like that. And then obviously the speculation on potential future capture of market share, proof of concept. Yeah, like a lot of these will have proof of concepts. Um, you know, like you shouldn't really, you know, like sure there's some of them that I'm, I might, you know, this is the, you could think of this as the, just the gamble or speculation or whatever. But I like to lean towards proof of concepts, you know, for that um, because you don't, like you don't have to take as much risk when you're, you know, in, in higher uh, portfolios. Okay, so between 30K and 200K, um, you'll notice that it looks exactly the same, right? Like the only thing that I changed is I've doubled this allocation. Um, instead of going 80, 20, we're now looking at 60, 40, you know, uh, and you're going to double the allocation to all of this, right? If you have, uh, if you're between these, and that's the only real difference. Uh, like you would just double this allocation and this um, percentage wise would be 25% less, right? Uh, so, you know, it just funds closer to the risk side, right? If you're in this medium area, because, you know, like something like, like this will probably has a good chance of performing really well. And then putting your portfolio into the higher category, right? And then finally, high risk. I would be all high risk if I had less than 30K. Um, there wouldn't be, I wouldn't hold Bitcoin. I wouldn't hold Ethereum. I wouldn't even hold DOT because DOT, I, I do believe DOT is something that could potentially 100X as well as Celsius. But you know, Celsius is is probably the most secure hundred xer. Um, I still don't think people understand that um, because it's like an index. The Stell token is like an index. Okay, it will perform like the things that are held in the wallet, and it's going to keep adding new projects to the wallet. So it's going to perform like the things that are held in its wallet. And also, Celsius is a good mitigation from self custody. So all of these blockchains, you could self custody and you could have some percentage of your portfolio in external custody because these guys are professionals. And, you know, most crypto holders that are going to come into crypto are not going to be your hardcore ledger supporters. OK, like you'll you'll talk, you'll see a lot of these cryptocurrency guys talking. I, I'm a nerd. I've been here long time, a long time because I'm a nerd, right? Most people are not going to be storing their crypto on a ledger, okay? Most people are not going to be self custing or owning their own crypto. Let's be honest here. Be honest with yourself. Like, that's not going to happen. Crypto is going to be stored on people's personal devices, and they're going to need a backup and, um, you know, for the, these funds. Celsius is going to fit that market. Celsius is going to fit the majority of crypto type people. Okay, like people who don't understand the technology, but they could still be involved. That's why, you know, this is the, and you have services that are provided for having extra Celsius token. So like I'm emphasizing, this is, a, should be in everyone's portfolio, you know, but obviously uh, nothing is investment advice. And then I would have things like, you know, you could see that the things that were in this category are now your biggest holdings, like Kusama's Algorand, Luxo, Luxo as well. I have Luxo as so Celsius and Luxo I have in every everyone's top holdings, um, no matter who you are, right? Because these this, these two are so secure, and they're, they're, so I, I guess that's what I'm saying here is the most likely uh, chances of of that hundred x, right? Um, you know, like over time too. Like you got to be patient, but these will pro most likely deliver that hundred x if you're patient. Uh, and these right here. Very good, high quality projects. Project is expanding rapidly, and um, big market. You know, it, it, it's it's a higher market, and live in use case it has niches, and you know, there's a stat. It, it's pretty much establishment, but it's it's you know, these are a little, these are the higher risk than you know, dot is right, and they're much lower market caps, etc. So with the you know these those would be the biggest ones I would hold. Um, speculation on so, and then you can see it's the it is the Pareto principle still for the, the low market cap. And, and these are just going to be the speculation on potential future capture and market share and extreme low caps. So you'd still hold 20% uh, 
Uh, whereas in the other portfolio, you know, like you would hold uh, here, you would hold 20% in there. Uh, my pen is failing right here. And then 20% here, right? In this one, it would be 20% and you'd have 80%, you know, focused on these. So you'd pretty much be holding double the amount of things like Algorand and Kusama. Um, and then, you know, like obviously the Wild West, right? Um, and, and I would even have maybe, maybe this, it, it, with values that are even low like this, you may even want this to be 20%, right? The extreme low caps, Wild West, big dreams, you know, people like make sure that people are talented and they're, you know, they, they have big dreams and, uh, they're tiny market caps, right? So that's, this is the basics of portfolio construction. Uh, the way I would approach it, obviously, if, if you have something that's working for you, um, you should go further with that than even what I'm saying here. The thing is, is everybody has their own strategy. You know, you got to find your winning strategy. You know, I, you know, I have mine and I'm improving. And, you know, I, I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to keep focusing. I'm going to keep improving. I'm going to keep iterating my process and, and getting these things better. And then, you know, delivering the best content that I can uh, for you guys. So, uh, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And keep in mind that I uh, post everything first in Patreon, and uh, trading I put all my trades there, and um, um, you know, and, and, and I report everything I do there. So uh, if you're interested, check out my Patreon. And um, I look forward to delivering the highest quality content that I can, guys. So this was a simple one, um, and I look forward to next time I could uh, present you guys with uh, high quality information. 